Hi, people of grace. Pastor Brian here with your monthly video update. Uh, in worship and around the church, in Bible studies and classrooms, uh, I make mention of the different tools that I use to uh, prepare for all of those uh, different things, uh, sermons, Bible studies, and uh, all the different ways in which uh, we have uh, teaching and learning opportunities both here at the church and around town. And so I thought I would use this time this month to just kind of share with you uh, some highlights uh, about the, the tools that I use, the digital tools that I use specifically. And so here on the screen, I've got pulled up uh, faithlife.com. Faithlife is the parent company of uh, the software that I uh, use and the that we use here at the church as well. And one of the things that I love about using it and having it available at the church is that uh, they all communicate and work with each other pretty flawlessly. And so um, it is a suite of uh, both uh, web programs as well as software programs as well as apps for your phones and devices. And so the first one that we've got here is both uh, an app for, and all of these are available for uh, Apple phones and tablets as well as uh, Android phones and tablets on the Google Play Store, as you can see here uh, on the screen. And uh, FaithLife is a platform for churches to uh, connect together. And uh, we've not really delved into this, but uh, it's something that is very interesting and intriguing uh, for me. So if you want to um, look into this, if you're interested in this, let me know. We can uh, definitely take a look at uh, all of this, whether it's sharing in prayer, uh, online Bible studies, promoting events, following along with different things going on at the church. It's just kind of one more uh, social avenue that is uh, curated for just people within our own congregation, but it would definitely be something uh, that would be fun and interactive to do together if that's something uh, many of you would like to be a part of. Uh, now, Logos, as we move down on this web page, which has all the different kind of apps that, uh, that they have here, Logos is the primary software program that I use, and I love it because it is available on my computer. It is available on my phone and it is available on uh, my iPad as well. And so it's got uh, Bibles, it's got commentaries, it's got uh, Greek and Hebrew translations, it's got all uh, kinds of different uh, books and commentaries and resources available for studying the Bible. And so uh, it is a great program. They do have a free basic version of it for your computer, and then uh, you can then uh, get it on the on your mobile device as well. Um, so I love using that program, and that's the primary program that I use when studying uh, for all of the different things that I use in teaching and preaching. And uh, I'll show you a little bit of the app uh, on my computer in just a minute, but I wanted to highlight a couple of these others. Faith Life TV is like a, a church Netflix, so to speak. Uh, Faith Life Proclaim is the media presentation software that we use for our weekend services. Uh, so a while ago we switched from uh, just using PowerPoint to using this Proclaim platform and it works wonderful and flawlessly, like I said, uh, from, my, uh, from the Logos uh, desktop app to the Faith Life uh, presentation app. The Faith Life Study Bible is something that uh, I think would be great for uh, people in the congregation. It is a free uh, app available on the App Store and the Google Play Store, and it uh, has uh, a Bible as well as a uh, study portion for the Bible, and it's great because it's got um, infographics, both regular pictures as well as some like videos of uh, where these things are happening, and they're obviously videos of what it looks like in today and not back in Jesus' time, but just wonderful images and videos of uh, what you're reading in the Bible at that time, as well as commentary as well to help you learn more about 
what's going on there. And the great thing about that is it also has in the menu a way to connect to the church uh, presentation from that Faith Life Proclaim uh, during worship. So I know we've got the screen up there, but if you want to be able to have something closer uh, and uh, right there in front of you, then this can connect to uh, our church presentation during worship. Uh, and then there's some other things here as well that aren't really uh, anything that I really want to point out for the sake of uh, today. And uh, But you can take a look at those. It's faithlife.com, and this is slash apps, so it's all of the different, uh, different tools that they offer for uh, individuals and for churches as well. And so now I want to, as I mentioned, I just want to switch real quickly to... Um, my Logos Bible software, and uh, this is uh, what it looks like, and it's uh, got commentaries over here, as well as uh, looks like some notes that I took on this passage as well, uh, as well as some uh, down here in the corner, some uh, uh, related passages, and this is Hannah's prayer today in our uh, adult Bible study. Uh, we talked about uh, the Magnificat of Mary and finding out she was uh, pregnant with Elizabeth and comparing it to Hannah's prayer and seeing some of the similarities and differences in, in that. And so, uh, and they've got the different translations that I can read from the NRSV, the NIV, uh, etc., as well as here's that Faith Life Study Bible I talked about. Um, doesn't look like there's any pictures for this particular part of it, but uh, there are pictures and uh, videos available throughout. Uh, and so it is a fantastic resource. Uh, like I said, there is a free basic version that you can get. And then for uh, about $10 on average, you can purchase and download uh, your preferred translation of the Bible, uh, like the New Revised Standard Version, or if you like the NIV, uh, there's lots of different translations. You, They've pretty much got all of them that you can purchase. And then as soon as you purchase it, uh, it shows up in your uh, program, both on the desktop and on mobile. And you're right there uh, able to study God's Word. And it's uh, such a useful tool because when it shows up here, then I can pick up my phone and it picks up right where I left off. Uh, and it's so wonderful knowing that as I travel that just having my phone in my pocket for my phone and mail and everything else that I can also have my Bible available as well. Uh, fantastic resources. If you want to know more about them, if you want to learn more about them, if we get enough people saying, yes, tell me more, I'd love to maybe just set aside a day and for an hour or two and I, we can sit and learn about it and learn how to use them and uh, get them onto our devices. And uh, I'd be happy to do that for a group or, um, and, or multiple groups if we've got a, a huge interest in them. So I hope you enjoyed this little insight into uh, the tools that I use and that the church uses and are available for all of us to uh, kind of make our Bible study uh, digital, if that's something that you're interested in. I hope you are all well, people of grace, uh, as we continue to move forward in 2020. Uh, I love worshiping with you and all the ways in which we engage both in worship, uh, outside worship at the church, and seeing you all uh, in our community. God bless you all, and I hope to see you soon in worship. Take care, people of grace. Bye.